Hello, this is uh, Tim Harner from Studio B Signs. As you can see in front of me is a tenant sign we installed for customer. The city requires a skirt to be installed to cover up the mounting pole. We're looking at it something about a foot high, seven feet long. And uh, that's what's in the back of the truck right now. We did as much fabrication as we could in the shop because of how cold it was. Uh, here's the texture plus, it's a stack stone. Basically uh, straightforward, just has a little bit of bracing on the inside. Ran a 2 before along the, uh, the center for some support and then used some aluminum angles right here that we're going to draw up to the bottom of the sign, raise it off the concrete a little bit and then give it some stability. The customer also wanted some dimensional letters so we stuck those on the side in the shop as well. It's going to be a pretty straightforward installation. It shouldn't take too long. The back of the skirt comes off this area here it's about four screws along with the uh, few other screws for the OSB and then the whole thing should slide around the mounting pole and we'll just bolt her down. So as you can see I got the end of it taken off. Basically just four screws here on the end cap and then here's the support. Some screws still sticking out. There's plenty of flexibility in the whole skirt itself be able to slide that right over the pole and put it underneath the sign. Here's a skirt halfway slid on. You can see it's just coming up underneath the sign and on top of the concrete. There's the pole right there. I have to do a little cut out here where the electricity is. It's just kind of a minor detail. And then we'll snug it up with the screws. As you can see the skirt slid on there real good. Measurements came up good. There's the angle of it. Now all we got to do is just make sure the notch is large enough for this electric outlet and screw in the end panel. Okay, here we got the OSB panel, support panel, already fastened on there. Notch worked out pretty well with the electric. Still on the pad and the whole sign, the whole skirt's underneath the sign. And here's the uh, dry stack stone already installed over the OSB so now we're ready to uh, raise up fasten the sign onto the cabinet using some sheet metal screws raise her up a little bit so the water can drain out it's kind of important because most signs have drain holes so there is water that will get down inside the skirt it's got to have an easy way to escape so lifting it off the ground a little bit is the best way but here I'm starting to fasten the skirt onto the sign itself as you can tell, there was a drain hole right here, and now it's covered up with the aluminum, so I have to drill some more drain holes throughout the sign. But what I wanted to show you is that now there's a gap underneath the skirt itself, so any water that gets inside there can drain right out on the concrete and down. And then the skirt is fastened on real tight to the sign. Alrighty, we got the drain holes drilled. Got one in the center, two on each end. The uh, skirts in place. We're just going to put the uh, faces on them. Alrighty, here's the finished product. Skirts all installed. Got the address down at the bottom. Lined up nice. Probably took me 45 minutes to an hour. It's a great product. 